Welcome to Indigo Touch. Today we are talking about symbols um, in Izpika Nekia and what you call and Igyasi. So, uh, Izolo, I made a mistake of uploading a video and I didn't realize, but towards the end it was very choppy and I lost the original footage so I couldn't um, edit, I couldn't fix it. My apologies to people who saw that video. Anyway, um, let's get into it. Please like the video, please subscribe, and please share this with anyone else who might benefit from it. So we start with stars. A star on Isipiga or Igias may be a very, very specific star because we know we have connections with stars. There's your Sirius or Sirius. I feel very weird when I say Sirius. And there's Canopus. There are plenty of stars. It may be a specific star or it may be a symbol that is associated with stars. So what what do I mean? For example, there's a story in the Bible about the three wise men who followed the star. For, so for someone, they may get Isipika with a single star, which is the star itself. Someone else might get Isipika with three stars, which symbolizes the three men that followed the the star so um there's no universal meaning at all um and sometimes star is a symbol of ukanya because we associate star with ukanya so um that is the star and then there is uh the cross so i had to get a christian perspective on the cross and even then it's not a one size fits all because there are many different methods of interpretation however when it comes to the cross um I'm just going to say it as, you know, as it was explained to me from that perspective. But the cross is a symbol of death. A cross was a um, method of execution in the in those days. And then it was the method of execution used to execute Ooh, Jesus Christ. And then after execution, Ooh, Jesus Christ resurrected, got resurrected on the third day. So it is a sign of continuity. It is a sign, Ukuba, you may have lost yourself through, throughout that process of spiritual awakening because spiritual awakening just completely strips you of yourself. You lose friends, you lose things that you thought mattered and you are ushered into this new life and you have no idea what to do with this new life because it's not what you had, uh, you had planned for yourself. So it is a symbol of Goba, you may feel lost you may feel like you lost yourself you may feel like you died essentially it's almost like a small death but then um there's still continuity there's life even after all that there's a whole new life waiting for you and life that you didn't know existed so that is the cross uh please let me know what your interpretation of the cross is in the comments if you have something that differs um from um this explanation and then we have done there is a dove that's taking off and then there is a dove that's landing the dove that's taking off think of it this way you have lived this constrained life growing up being told what is possible being told what is impossible being told what to believe but eventually you find your freedom you see that there are endless possibilities there are infinite possibilities nothing is out of reach and it's almost like you're a bird you see how birds are just free when they are flying up there so it is a sign it is something that says well go forth and conquer like now is your time just go explore the universe just go explore these possibilities that you thought were non-existent it is a symbol that says go by life has just begun you have just arrived <laughs> so um that is the dove and the the, the 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 dove that's taking off and then there's a dove that's landing so the dove that's landing you know how we are expecting this recovery we are expecting um divine intervention we're expecting this big thing to happen we are expecting to be saved it is something that says ukuba the holy spirit that we are waiting for the divine intervention that we are waiting for is here everything that we need is right here the recovery has arrived it's us it's we are the people we have been waiting for we are what we have been waiting for and we have the ability to manifest still that bed is a symbol of freedom Ukuba, now that you know um you have awakened and now that you know this divine intervention you've been waiting for has arrived you have infinite possibilities make use of the power that you have at that moment so yes in short um we could say Yukuba birds are a symbol of isitonia holy spirit like i said um did i say that is in this video i'm not sure because i 
I re-recorded this video a million times. So, um, yes, it birds a sign of freedom. When it's taking off, it's saying, but go forth, go do your thing, go teach people, go heal people, go uh, do this and that and that. And when it's landing, it's saying, Okuba, you are here, make a change, make things happen because, you know, you can. And then there is, um, what am I missing? I should have written this down. Then there is Iank, yes. So Iank is... Iank has both feminine principle and masculine pr principle together. Because when you look at the shape, I'm going to put it on the screen. The shape of Iank, there is Lindau, it's hair, which represents, you know, the ovary. Is it? No, not the ovary. My goodness, I did a biology. Um, e e uterus. And then there is this part, which is... Um, these two, they, there are these two branches, and then there is this part which goes down, which symbolize, you know, the male principle, the main, the male reproductive system. So um, these together, it's like completion, it's wholeness. Because when you have masculine, you have feminine, then you have the power of manifest manifestation. Because both these energies are in there. So um, I'm going to put this on the screen. It explains it very well. Go by the shape of the arm. It looks like the shape of a human, the shape of a child. So this is a symbol. Of manifestation this is a symbol of wholeness of completion Goba, you have everything you need right here you have the power to manifest it's about manifestation anything you need to do if you need to heal someone that is your um that is your um what you call that is your symbol um and of course like, like i always said Goba, i wish people would find this out for themselves i was very happy when i had a con consultation with um someone from apago youtube and we went through this and a few days later they had more information than i could ever ever give them uh, or anyone could ever give them about things that belong to them. And I say kudos to that. I'm really glad when people, you know, find out things for themselves, you know, and um, it's much better knowing things by yourself than hearing from someone else. It's much better knowing your regalia, knowing what it does for you than being told what to expect. So this being said, please don't have any expectations. Another the completely different explanation may come to you. And um, that is fine. And then there's something else I wanted to talk about. About the black can the black color so i'm not going to talk about black garments people black with black garments know what they are for but um i just want to say this Ukuba. when it comes to other colors we do acknowledge Ukuba, this color has a side that can be exploited to be used for destructive purposes and also has a side that can be used for healing uh, purposes but when it comes to the color black we just look at it one way Ukuba, when you see the color black it's all about witchcraft it's all about death it's all about destruction however if someone can use a, a black candle to conjure up something to send something to someone, to manifest something, things like spells like is trito, then surely someone else can use a black candle to manifest, to conjure up something that's going to help heal something in them or heal something in someone else. So nothing is one dimensional. When we start looking at things in a judgmental way, we do not really uh, realize their full potential because we are looking at them from a place of judgment. Judgment is always one dimensional. So when we look at things from one side, then I'm afraid that we might put ourselves at a disadvantage when we just take whatever we hear and just run along with it so um yeah if you do get something that's black a black garment um it's up to you what you do with that but then this is just something to say Ugo, but the color black is not always associated with the things that we are associated with just like all colors it has a side that can be exploited it has a side that can be used um for healing purposes so um that's all i have to say for today please like the video please subscribe and please share this with anyone else who might benefit from it till next time toodles